hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial now in today's video we are going to discuss about another network topology in the previous video we discussed about uh, the bus topology so today's topic of discussion is the ring topology okay so the ring topology is a network connection which uses point to point connection method okay so the point to point communication method a dedicated channel a dedicated link is connected between two devices okay and the entire capacity of this channel this link is allotted for communication between these two devices it means that only the two connected devices can share data through this link okay no other device can interfere in this communication process okay a single link connects only two devices not more than that and the entire link capacity is dedicated for communication between only those two devices this is what point to point connection means now the ring topology uses point to point connection method okay now there are three main parts of the ring topology it is the device or the node which can either be a computer a laptop desktop or a smartphone uh, any peripheral device such as printer scanner anything then it consists of a repeater okay it consists of a repeater which is attached with the device and it consists of the ring cable which behaves as the communication link okay so it consists of three main parts the device and the repeater are connected in pairs okay the device and the repeater is connected in pairs so it means that each device or node has a repeater joined with it so the ring topology looks something like this okay this is the ring the cable the ring shaped cable the main channel okay and uh, these are the devices here there are six devices that are connected to this ring cable and these black uh, rectangular things are the repeater okay so the working of ring topology is in such a way suppose we the device 1 wants to send some data or information to device 4 okay then it cannot do so by directly sending it to device 4 it cannot it cannot occur like that what happens is that first that data is sent to device 2 okay the repeater receives the data if it finds that that data is not intended for device 2 it then transmits it to the next adjacent device it means device 2 sends it to device 3 again the repeater intercepts the data it finds that the data is not intended for device 3 it sends to the next adjacent device which is device 4 now the repeater of device 4 finds that this data is intended for device 4 then the repeater sends the data to device 4 so the repeater actually performs the task of intercepting the data between two devices okay if a particular data or information is intended for that device okay to which the repeater is joined then it sends the data to that device otherwise it sends it to the or it passes on to the next adjacent device this is how a ring topology works okay this is how the ring topology system works okay so a signal intended for a particular device is passed uh, onto the ring cable okay from one device to the other until it reaches the destination 
So, when the device finds that the signal is intended for it, the repeater transmits that signal or data to that device, otherwise that repeater sends it to the next adjacent repeater. Okay? This is so, this is how a uh, uh, ring topology works. Now, let us discuss the advantages and disadvantages of ring topology. So, as you can see in ring topology, only a single ring cable is required as the main channel and uh, it consists of device and repeater pairs. So, the amount of wiring required in ring topology is very less. Okay? cabling and wiring is less. As less cabling and wiring is required, the cost of wiring and installation is also very less. The installation process is very easy and also the identification of faults or defects in the network, that process is simple. So, these are the advantages of ring topology. Now, the disadvantage is that in ring topology, the entire communication process is dependent on the device and repeater pairs. Okay? Very specifically, the process is heavily dependent on the operation of the repeater. So, if any one of the repeater uh, fails to operate or has some defect in it, then the entire network will be shut down because it perform it, it, it involves a cyclic process. The data is not transmitted from one device to another device directly. It has to go through a process, it has to go through a cycle. The device is first sent to the repeater of the adjacent device, then it is sent to the adjacent device, passes on again passed on to the adjacent device. So, a cycle goes on. So, if any one of the repeater is damaged, then it will not get passed on to the next adjacent device. So, if any one of the repeater uh, gets damaged, the entire communication process will be affected and the network will get shut down. So, this is one of the main disadvantage of uh, ring topology. Okay? Now, the example of ring topology is uh, the token ring LAN, okay? the token ring system local area network. This is one of the LANs which were used in earlier times and uh, it used the concept of ring topology network. We will discuss about the token ring LAN in detail in a separate video, but for now you just understand. So, this is an example of ring topology where token system is used for communication process. So, here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to ring topology, the uh, ring topology design the working, the advantages, the disadvantages and the example. So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.